Ruth here, and this is the <clears throat> is sixth, I think, uh, box for uh, J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World uh, Loot Crate box. And uh, I didn't open it yet, I just wanted to save the sticker, because I actually didn't save the first sticker. So uh, this is the uh, Muggle Worthy Lock sticker, as like the same one on the first one. So, as you can tell, maybe, this box is flatter, but it is bigger than like the previous ones. So uh, let's see what's inside. I think it was a magical must-haves, I think it was. Wow. Now I see why it's flatter. Sweet. Cool. Awesome. Okay, that's that's the first thing that's in here. But um, if you have a look up, this is uh, upside down, but it's the uh, Hogwarts crest. So it will, my guess, is uh, fold out into a trunk. So that's cool. So first things first. First thing on the top is this. In some, I don't know, that's, uh, is that French? Or, anyway, it's different language, okay. Uh, office stationery set. So it includes a folio, sticky notes, two paper clips, and a list pad. So that's good. Always can use a stuff to write on. So as you can see, this is the Makusa. So it's a uh, Fantastic Beast based. So that is awesome. It's like all green and it's got the Makusa emblem on the side. Yeah. As you obviously, most things in here look crazy exclusive anyway. I'll just put that back there. Might as well do this since this is the next thing. So, as you see, Harry Potter and Loot Crate exclusive on the back. And this is very nice. It's nice tassels there. And this is the scarf. Slytherin scarf. This will be definitely useful because winter or fall is here around because it is nearing the end of September. It's very, very soft too. This um, bio world is, yes, the uh, makers or something. Oh, I've just got the uh, WB and stuff. Trademark stuff and whatever on the side. So uh, let's let's see this. Ooh. So in the last one we had Severus Snape's wand, pen, and this is Harry Potter's wand and this pen as well. So as you see, very nice. It's very heavy, like metal or so or heavy duty anyway and this is the probably acrylic or something so that is awesome so I wonder if we'll get the other uh, wand pens for the other characters too possibly It'd be nice to actually have like a, a wand pen collection that would be cool Considering I haven't actually bought, bought any of the wands anyway. Um, Honeydews. Well, I'll open this later. We'll see if it actually says which stuff's in here in a minute. And we'll see if I can actually seal it. Oh yeah, it is a uh, turn your crate into a trunk thing. But it is... So I'll read out the ones that I already went through. Hogwarts house scarf, a key component to a Hogwarts uniform. Show your house pride with this scarf and that features your house colors and crest. Then there's the, ah, that's what it is. Okay, I'll open it then. Um, Harry Potter's wand pen, 
Perfect for everyday magic, this special pen will make words appear on paper whenever you want. And the Makusa Desk Supply Set, because any desk at Makusa will be properly and fully stocked with this set of basic supplies. And... We'll get to the pen in a second. So, this. Oh, it actually says on here. <laughs> it actually says not edible on the uh, green sticker there. So, it set includes four erasers, chocolate frog, sugar skull, jelly slug, and cauldron cake. At first I would have thought it would be a sugar quill, but it says a sugar skull, so I'm guessing that's for like a dark mark thing. And let's see if I can open this. Obviously this is also a Loot Crate exclusive. I'm not sure if I'd actually really use the erasers. I'd, I'd obviously keep them, but... Who knows? How do I open the box? Ah, here. Ooh! They, they do look edible, that's for sure. Okay. This, this, is, the, this is the slug. I'll, uh... There we go. Focus better now. So this is the slug. Okay. Here is the chocolate frog. Very realistic, I have to say. Here is cauldron cake. <laughs> Very realistic there. And here is the skull. I can get it out. So it's an actual skull. It's like one of those decorated um, ones that you know celebrate the uh, Day of the Dead or something from a different um, somewhere. Okay, so that's cool. So they are erasers or rubbers. If yeah. British. So that is pretty cool. And obviously Loot Crate exclusive. But it's also nice that they have it in like a honeydew uh, little box here. <clears throat> oh yeah, if I didn't show like more closely, but there is like a uh, patch shield for the Slytherin thingy sewn on there. As you see, gray or gray and green, or it's supposed to be black and green. It's, anyway, yes. So, just a quick uh, close-up because focus wasn't that good before. Always can use more notepads, though I might just keep one piece of paper anyway for like, you know, collector thing, if I actually use this. And, uh, those are the two paper clips. And that's the um, sticky notes. That's pretty cool. Magical exposure threat level. Severe unexplained activity, emergency level six. Witch hunts, exposures, obliviations, zero threat. Low threat, moderate threat, high alert, danger. Hmm, that's pretty cool. So, I wonder if uh, maybe the back, like the the back, might have been useful if it was slightly more transparent. Depends how dark your pen is, what you write on there, I guess. But uh, and also it has the. Uh, Folder. Folio is what it's called. One. So it looks like this. And for. Oh yes, so I'll read out the Honey Dukes eraser set. 
This unique collection of erasers, inspired by some of the best known treats found at Honeydukes, will make finals week that much sweeter. And it's lucky I don't do tests anymore, because I would actually probably use that. Though the only test we used pencils in was in science, because that was multiple choice. <laughs> but, uh, unless you had an art test, then obviously you'd use a pencil for that. Okay, right, so this is the pin. And uh, since I did take a sneak peek at the uh, list, this will go very well with my collection of pins that they've gone on, which is the Horcrux collection. So then this Horcrux is... Ding! The Locket. Now it also says Medallion right there. And this is <clears throat> Salazar Slytherin's Locket. The next in our Horcrux pin series. This is the safest way to wear this particular nasty bit of jewelry. Though technically, if it was still cursed, it, it wouldn't really... There isn't a safe way to wear a cursed piece of jewelry. But, uh, yeah. If you want to be particular about it. But that is cool. They have, like, little... Gem-ish jewels. That uh, line on the, uh, Snake S here. And loads of various, uh, weird symbols, like, and, uh, squiggles. So yeah, that is pretty cool. And it has two pin backs for, like, balance, because this does seem a bit heavy. It's got, like, kind of like a... a chain kind of detail on the edges. So that's pretty cool. Like a proper metal like locket. So yeah, that is this uh, box. So that was everything in this box. And there was, if you notice, there was no t-shirt. It was a scarf instead, which I will use when it's freezing, because like it's going to be freezing sometime. I mean, like, it's a little cold in my room, that's for sure. So, for the recap, we got the Salazar Slytherin Locket, the stationery or uh, Makusa desk supply set, we got erasers, and we've got Harry's wand pen, as well as a scarf. Can't forget the scarf. So that was like using one hand here. And this kind of covers everything, so there. <clears throat> so this is what everything looks like on the sheet of paper here. Just to uh, get a close-up. So as you can tell, if you didn't notice by now, from the uh, Sorting Hat uh, quiz thing on the website, the, um, the Pottermore website, I did get Slytherin. The one I first applied, I was in Ravenclaw, but then I moved to Slytherin for some reason. Oh, I don't think I ever got Gryffindor when I tried it, or Hufflepuff. Anyway, so. That is everything, and as you can see, everything is Loot Crate exclusive. And for once, I think I am not going to sell anything from this, because I am going to keep it all for a change. And I shall show you what the, uh, what it turns out as. I might as well. Oh yes, um, I probably should have read this out first. Uh, magical must-haves. Whether you're headed back to Hogwarts for a new school year, full of adventure, or in need of organizing your desk at Makusa, uh, I lost my place. Uh, you'll need to equip yourself with some essentials only found in the wizarding world. Don't worry, this crate has you covered. So, I quite like this. It's very easy to store, because I actually keep every one of them. Because the uh, scrolls looked nice, but they were kind of hard to store. I can't really put it in my filing cabinet because 
doesn't, you know, isn't straight. So I will put this down. And I'll speed through this. That is so awesome. All right. Very nice. And it's a nice uh, shade of blue too. Normally you'd think like, you know, trying some brown or black or something, which would look cool with like a, a black or a leathery type of background with like silver or gold metal bit. That's also cool too. But this is good as well. So that is what this uh, trunk crate thing looks like. And my camera is sliding down. Let me try to it down. So that is what we get in here. Okay, um, as I did with the previous one, I will show you what is the uh, next box because I think they have that out now. So I'll do a preview of uh, the title and uh, read out the synopsis, a blurby bit. And I'll be right back. Okay, right here. <clears throat> I almost forgot to uh, record this part since I had to uh, sit out to dinner and stuff. Anyway, so <clears throat> you can choose your plans between one three and six crates because obviously this crate only comes out every two months. You select your house. Gryffindor, Southern Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw. Because that will give you, um, tell the suppliers or whatever to... Ignore that, it's just a medicine alarm. <clears throat> I'll tell you like out of like the four houses, like for instance, I chose Slytherin, so I got a Slytherin scarf instead of any of the other house scarfs. So it's so stuff like that. Then for like your t-shirt, when they give you a t-shirt, it seems. They've actually given us a t-shirt every single time except for this time. So well, no, that's fine too. Um so you have like the different sizes, which is like this is the unisex size, so both male and female. So, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, XX large, or XXX large. Then, as you can see, it is 39 pounds per crate. That includes the shipping and handling. And uh, if you, if you want to see like the other pictures for this one, Anyway, and it says uh, features exclusive and officially licensed items, five to seven magical items in each crate. Uh, the retail value is 65 plus dollars. And for like the delivery, as I said, your crate will arrive between the 15th and the 25th of every odd numbered month. So uh, technically, today is the 26th, so it's a day later, but uh, no, that's fine. And uh, every crate we pick, a unifying concept or idea from the Wizarding World that ties together all of the crate's items. And the next theme is this. I'll just be back okay, and change battery changed. So this crate's theme so this is the uh, the next one. Is secrets of the Wizarding World. So secret passages, objects with hidden purposes, people in disguise, things in the Wizarding World aren't always what they seem. From Hogwarts to Makusa, this crate will explore and celebrate mysteries, small and large. So you, uh, it says supplies are limited and. Uh, Order by the 3rd of November at uh, 9 p.m. Pacific time. I think that's what PET stands for. Yes. So then I chose like pa un under here, like past crates. 
So if you want to see like, you know, other past crates, then, uh, you know, there's the uh, playlist and then there's the... I might link it in the iron cards, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, so just... Because I think I, I bought every single one so far. So. Yes, and uh, if you're wondering, I do have this t-shirt up for sale on my eBay as well, which hasn't sold yet, so... Yes. So this is this website, which is lootcrate.com forward slash crate forward slash wizarding dash world dash crate. So I will put in a link, I think it's, I can't remember if it was a referral link or just a link or if it's just a website name, I, I can't remember. But anyway, the link will be in the description of like, well, technically I put in a link of where I, or at least the basic general link of where I get everything that's what I'm videoing, recording about. Yes, you know, anyway. Um, <clears throat> So, thank you for watching. I'd like to have more. Over and out. Uh, just an added thing. Um, I was checking my email and I remembered I did get a, uh, a preview of uh, an email. So, this is what it is. Because it says a bit differently than on the website. So, it says secret pass passages, objects within hidden <clears throat> purposes, people in disguise, things in the Muslim world, and all the same, blah, blah, blah. Item with items that include a wearable, a film replica, the next edition in the Horcrux pin series. So that's like a preview of what might be inside or is inside something. So something to wear, a film replica, and a, another Horcrux pin. So that's to look forward to. I thought this is just a tiny add-on. Okay. For real now, bye-bye. Uh,